Good morning everyone. Uh, it's Jenny Martin, ethnobotanist, and I'm out this morning on my morning walk and the gorse is just showing off. It's just beautiful right now, so I thought I'd share it with you. Gorse is in the pea family, the Fabaceae family, and therefore it's a nitrogen fixer, so it does actually really help improve the soil. It's, um, you can tell it's in the pea family because of the flower. And the flower is really interesting because you have a keel on the flower where the bee will land to try and get some nectar. And as it's pushing its proboscis in the back to get nectar, the stamen and the stigma are sprung loaded, which basically means that as the bee is pushing down, all of a sudden it get whack whack on the back of its head. The stigma first to get pollen from the previous flower and then the stamen to um, give it pollen to go to the next flower. So you can have a go and ping them if you're seeing them where you are and see if you can get the stamen and the stigma pinging out which is quite cool. When the flower buds are shut, you people have used them in capers to make a type of capers. The flowers themselves made into a tea um, and kind of infusion and the wood is burns incredibly hot so there is a belief that the Great Fire of London actually started from a um, from using gorse because it was a favourite for the bakers. So we know that the Fire of London started in the bakery. So anyway, uh, a really lovely flower to notice and um, hopefully wherever you are you might be able to find some and enjoy the scent of the coconut and if not just at least enjoy playing with pinging them and if you do ping them go to one or two flowers because then you'll actually mimic the bee and you can pollinate the flowers yourself. Enjoy and hope you're all keeping safe. Take care.